Hi everyone, my name is Jake Talley and I am one of the coordinators for residence education for the Maple Hill community. Uh, today we're going to go on a tour of the Maple Hill community that's going to include Maple South, Maple East, and then also talking about Maple West. Um, here we are standing on the south side of Maple Hill South. Uh, through our main doors here on the right is our main entrance into Maple Hill South. Uh, we also have to the left Maple Grill, which is our uh, restaurant uh, here inside of Maple Hill South that students can access. Uh, down this way, uh, down the sidewalk, we have a new grab-and-go uh, meal option uh, nice, from nice. Wells, mm -hmm. uh, called Grab and Roll, which is pretty cool. Uh, we're next to Northwest Quad. Uh, which is where our uh, Fulbright Dining Hall is uh, housed uh, there. A little bit further uh, this way, you do have um, the Poultry Science Building. And then off to the right, we are also next to the Epley uh, Health Professions Building uh, as well. Great. So, yeah, pretty nice little uh, location here on the north end of campus. Yes. Very green and beautiful. Yes, absolutely. And this open space is also our, uh, what we call the Maple South Lawn. Uh, it's where we will hold a lot of our programming efforts this year uh, so that way we can be socially distant uh, while also engaging with our students, uh, student staff members as well. Very good. And, you know, we have about 17 people watching right now. So nice. we'll say, hey, glad you're watching. And if you have, uh, uh, if you could, you can tell us where you're from. Uh, we had a couple requests to see some rooms. We're actually going to be in Maple Hill East, East mm -hmm. this time. Uh, a request to see room 336. Uh, we're planning on going on the fourth floor, but we might be able to dip in there just for a second, just to see what sure. we see. Um, yeah, so we'll just keep on going. It's cool. Let's go inside. Okay. Well, we got someone from Canada. Hello, Jamie. I love all the courtyards in this particular hall. Yes. Thank you. And what did you use to get in there? I uh, used my fob. So every student is issued a key fob uh, that can go on their, uh, on their key ring to be able to come into the building. Uh, it's also going to be the way that you access the floors uh, and elevators in South. Uh, it's part of our security measures. So that way we make sure that we're providing a safe, comfortable environment for our students uh, so that way you have a place to be uh, without worry of anybody coming in and out. It's not supposed to be here. Right, yeah. Hello, David from Dallas and uh, Janet from uh, Lee's Summit, Missouri. And her daughter staying in Maple Hill West, 125. So, a lot exciting. of Maple Hill. Yeah, totally. Very exciting. All right. All right. So, this is the uh, main lobby area of Maple Hill South. Uh, and this is Leslie Parker. Hello, hello. He is our new uh, CRE for Maple Hill West. Yes, so I'm Leslie Parker. I'm the new CRE from Maple Hill West. I uh, graduated from the University of Arkansas in 2017. I was an RE for two years here at the Northwest Quad C building, now known as Morgan Clark. Uh, but I'm super excited to be here. Great to be back. Woo Peak Suey to all you incoming freshmen. Uh, but can't wait to see you. Very nice. Friends. Yeah. Uh, would you mind saying hello to uh, Shay from St. Louis? Yeah, well, hey, Shay. Uh, I've actually been in St. Louis the last three years working at um, Harris Stowe State University up there. Uh, so very familiar. Get you some Mission Taco. Uh, Going to have to go back up and see the city foundry once they get that all opened up. But I do miss Ikea, so take advantage of that before you come down here. Oh, you're, you're calling out some real <laughs> stuff there. Uh, and then we have uh, Peyton from the Chicago area. Oh, and. Hey. Ruby from Austin and Candy from Tulsa and uh, Hope Russell's watching us. Got you, got you, cool. Well, listen, I spent uh, about a year's worth of time in Chicago. Uh, I recruited a lot up there, uh, so definitely enjoyed that. Um, as far as, I think we had somebody from Tulsa. I think there's a Blue Moon Cafe or something like that on the river. It's a really good spot, definitely enjoyed that. And I actually went to college at Texas Southern for two years where I played baseball. Uh, so we got a chance to play in Austin. I was on TV, ESPN. I did strike out, but beautiful stadium. Uh, but the Longhorns don't like other teams, but Austin's a beautiful city. Got connections all over. That's right, great, you know, man. Well traveled, man. Well traveled. So, yeah. yeah. All right, well, will, you join, will you join us on this tour? Absolutely. Absolutely. Hey, listen, got my tape measure ready for whenever we're ready to go and get some of those measurements. So, yeah. So, like I said, we are here in the main lobby of Maple Hill South. Um, Throughout the, the area, we do have mailboxes uh, for residents of South to be able to get their mail there. 
uh, as well as here at our front desk, uh, which is where we will have uh, larger packages um, and uh, our staff will be there. We do have a, a full-time hall admin that is here uh, from 8 to 4.30 every day. And then the RA staff will uh, staff the desk typically until 10 p.m. or midnight, depending on the, on the day of the week. Uh, but that's where you can get packages, um, uh, extra key. Like if you get locked out and you need to get back into your room, this is an excellent place to come down to. Uh, but most of the time we'll be dealing with packages uh, and large mail items out of the desk. Um, like I mentioned, we do have two elevators here uh, that will go up to the to second through th fourth floors and then um, two access doors up to the stairwells as well. But this room in particular is our parlor, uh, which is one place that students like to spend a lot of time. Um, go in here and I'll show you. Yeah, let's go look at the parlor. So we do actually have a working fireplace uh, that, that we will use during throughout the year, mostly uh, during the winter, uh, just to provide more of a cozy spot uh, for uh, students to hang out, study. Um, we will be moving some of the furniture out uh, just to make sure that we're ensuring uh, social distancing guidelines and things like that. But it is one area that will be open, uh, open for residents to be able to use. Fantastic. And, and people, you say, just kind of randomly come in here yeah. and uh, hang out and yep. study? We, we, there's always times that I'll see students in here with their laptops or books. And, you know, it's a quieter uh, place to study because it's not... Um, it's, it's, it's just a, a bigger open area versus some of our smaller uh, study rooms that are on each floor. Um, but it's a good hangout spot. It's a good place to be doing uh, homework. Uh, lots of games have been played, especially on the table behind us, uh, board games and stuff like that. So it's a very unique uh, aspect of, of living on campus. And the air conditioning is cranking yes. in here. It feels really cool in here. It is always cool in here. <laughs> All right, well, what else can you show us in this room or in this hall? Um, I think since we're going to be going to East for the class, for the rooms, um, I think that's pretty much all here. Okay, okay. Uh, so if we want to head over to East, we can do that as well. Let's go over to East. Cool, let's go. All right. And where is it that you're from? Me? Mm -hmm. I am uh, originally from Beebe, Arkansas. Okay. So that is, uh, it's about... 35-ish minutes Thanks. Uh, northeast of Little Rock. Okay, okay. Uh, I went, graduated high school there and then went to Arkansas Tech University. Um, graduated with my bachelor's of uh, health physical education. Um, at, uh, there, immediately went down to UCA where I obtained my master's degree in college student personnel services and administration. Mm -hmm. uh, so basically college administration. It's a long long title for for that one thing um then i went did a, a stint in crossit arkansas uh, where i worked as the director of student services um, for the uam campus down there uh, then we moved up to springfield missouri for a year and a half or so and then moved down to fayetteville since uh, january of 2017. nice nice uh, and then i also just finished a uh, second master's degree in uh, information systems oh, right here at the university. That's a useful one. Yes. Um, yes. I'm going to get a quick pan of this uh, uh, area right here. It looks really nice. So this is the area that is in between uh, Maple East here and then Maple South. Um, this is one of our courtyards. Um, this is kind of a, is a, where students will keep a lot of like their bikes uh, uh, chained up here. Lots of seating areas just to enjoy the outdoors. Uh, good amounts of shade. Um, you'll see, you know, with, there's three CREs here in the Maple Complex. Uh, the other uh, compatriot, uh, Lene Patterson Newcomb, she's uh, off this week, but she is over Maple Hill East. Uh, and so from time to time, you'll at least see my dog, my kids out here uh, playing in this area. My son loves coming out here and bringing his baby brother with him. Uh, so it's, it's a really, really fun area. Yeah, yeah, it seems like a lot of people walk around and there's a lot of community in that way. Absolutely. We did have some questions come in and sure. we'll, we'll address these as best we can. Uh, Dan asks, are all Maple dorms similar? And can you speak more about laundry? Certainly we can talk about laundry, particularly when we get into the laundry room. Uh, maple dorms are similar insofar as, well, I don't want to speak for that, I'll say this. They're similar insofar as they have two people in the bedrooms and then you have some sort of common space typically. Yes. 
So typically that is going to be the case. Most rooms are going to be quad rooms. So you're going to have two bedrooms uh, with two people living in each bedroom. Uh, common area. Now some rooms are, are a little bit bigger. Some rooms, uh, you know, common area is a little bit smaller. It just kind of depends on the layout that, you know, when the, build, when the buildings were built. Uh, there are a couple of uh, double rooms where it's just two students living there. And then very few single rooms, but we do have those uh, available from time to time. Nice. And uh, Amy asks, we'll be going into West Hall today. We won't be. We'll be going into East, and then we were just in South. Yes, so. and the rooms are, are fairly similar. Mm-hmm. Uh, what, you know, if you see one room, like we're going to show in East, uh, you can almost expect the same throughout South and West. Uh, they were all designed um, and built uh, around the same design language and the, in the same concept. So uh, they, they, they'll be very similar. Yeah, a lot of transferability yes, of what we're looking absolutely. at. Absolutely. So here we're going to go through, um, this is the east and west vestibule, uh, the archway to come in here. Uh, On the right is the office, we'll go through uh, there in just a moment. Uh, But one thing we want to point out is this is going to be the main maple courtyard. Uh, This is going to be our area um, where we do what we're, another area we're going to do a lot of programming this year in. Um, We have a charcoal grill that's always available for students and there will also be typically using it uh, during programming but this year i think we're going to try and stay away from that uh, and focus more on individually packaged lunches just to maintain uh, everyone's safety make sure everyone's uh, staying as well as possible but we do have all this patio furniture um, a nice platformed area which is where we typically will do our cooking uh, currently we have a community garden um, but that uh, last I heard, we are actually going to be phasing that out and returning that to grass areas so that way students have more areas to uh, to be out here, to uh, lay out, enjoy the weather, uh, enjoy the sun before it gets cold. Um, but even if you enjoy the cold, it's a great area as well. Uh, so West uh, is here, right behind us. Um, that is our main entrance to West there. And then another entrance to East on our other side, but this is our main courtyard area. Uh, when we refer to the Maple Courtyard. Right. And yeah, Dan, our pleasure. I'm glad we could answer that question for you. Michelle asks, are you going to show a three-person room layout? And uh, we, we, I don't think we have one planned, but can you explain the three-person room sure. layout versus so the other layouts? The, the other, there's very, very few of the three-person layouts. Um, the only one that I'm aware of is a Maple South. Um, and it is, you go in... And you have the standard living area, uh, like we'll show you here in a little bit. But as you go into the bedroom, the bedroom is much bigger than a typical room. Just that way we can accommodate um, three students into one space uh, as the building was designed. It was designed that way. So you go in and then there's going to be a bed off to bed and furniture off to the left, one straight ahead of you and the one on the right. It gives very clear areas of, you know, this is the, the third person, second person. It's not all jumbled together. Gotcha. Uh, there's a lot of good space in that room. Okay, excellent, excellent. So we'll head into Maple Hill East. Awesome. And David asked about laundry options. We're going to go into the laundry facility once we go up on the floor. But in general, I'll say that the laundry fees are covered uh, by your housing fees, so you don't need to bring any money specifically for them. So this is our entrance into Maple Hill East. Uh, this is going to be where the offices um, for this, this area of Maple East and West are going to be. So Leslie is in this building as well as Lene. This is also going to be where mail uh, and packages are kept uh, as well. Kent is our fantastic assistant or admin assistant here uh, in, in East and for West. A uh, very good wealth of information from Kent. So happy to have him here again with us. Um, but the way that packages are handled here are a little bit different than in South. Um, down this hallway, we'll show you here in just a second, are going to be the main uh, package or mail areas, the main post office boxes. But if you get a larger package that can actually fit in one of these larger uh, PO boxes here, what we'll do is we'll put a key in your mailbox and let you know which one to go and check. So you take that key, uh, open up that mailbox over here, get your larger package, drop the keys uh, down the chute right there, and you're good to go. So well, you always have access to those. Seems pretty straightforward. Absolutely. So um, there's a similar parlor here in East as well. Uh, still has a fireplace uh, ping pong table here 
Uh, in South, we actually have a pool table and the first floor lounge that's open to any resident as well in South. Uh, and then in East on the other, just past those windows, uh, we actually have another uh, little seating area. It's a lot smaller. I'm if we go in and take yeah, a look. Absolutely. Give them a view of what they'll see. All these rooms have a, like a certain elegance to them and yes. I kind of like that. And if you look down the floor, we do have the maple leaf inlays uh, into the hardwood flooring. Um, this is one of our stairwell entrances to the building. It is also fob accessed. Uh, so nobody can have unauthorized access into the building without having an actual fob. And then right through here, this is our, uh, the smaller seating area that's really good for studying, um, having you know, smaller uh, interactions, but it is also always available. Ton of space. Ton of space, tons of space. All right. Well, I guess, yeah, we'll head up and see some floors. Now, we did get a question about some measurements, and as soon as we get in the room, we'll start to take some measurements for you. Uh, one of our efforts on campus um, is sustainability. So most every single hall has at least one of these uh, water bottle fillers uh, on, in the building. So that way, on your way out or on your way back in, pop your uh, bottle into it, fill up, head back to your room, wherever you're going. Um, help save on, on uh, unnecessary plastic uh, use and stuff like that uh, with, with uh, uh, or non, non reusable water bottles. Sure, case. sure. We recommend you bring one. Definitely. Yes, absolutely. So these were the standard mailboxes that I was talking about. Uh, these are going to be for all of East and West. Um, you'll have your combination uh, in your housing portal. Uh, once you're here, you'll be able to know uh, exactly how to get into your mailbox. If, if at any time you have any difficulty with it, staff is always available to help out with that. Great. Awesome. All right. So uh, coming down this way, uh, this is uh, Leslie's new office. So any, any potential issues with uh, Maple Hill West, Leslie's here and can help out with uh, his staff. And There's your office else. right there. Yeah. 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 I'm it's sure it's going to be covered with things. It's not there. done yet. It's going to be really, really cool when I get done with it. It's in the works right now. It's under wraps, but we'll gotcha, see. Gotcha. It'll be a so, soft yeah. launch soon. <laughs> uh, one interesting aspect of Maple Hill East is that you do have these uh, private study areas that are locked, but you use your fob, you'll be able to access it as well. You come with a uh, whiteboard, table and chairs as well. Uh, there are two of these in the building, uh, but it's open for any Maple Hill resident to be able to use if needed. Excellent. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Caught up on a chair there. And then we do have some other uh, offices in the university here as well. Uh, we do have some of our CAPS members, which is our counseling and psychological services are lo uh, located here in Maple East. Uh, they're going to be doing all of their uh, clinical work online for the, at least the first semester. Um, we'll see, kind of reevaluate re uh, for the second semester, but they are housed here. And then the, um, the oh my goodness, vending options yes. for East and West are here as well. There is a soda machine as well as a uh, food machine as well. Uh, any, these are easily accessed from any, for anyone in Maple East or West. And then south is located on the other end at our classroom area. And those ice machines are in there. That's something we get asked about sometimes is, do you have ice machines? We do. Um, so the first floor is here, uh, sorry, east and west is here. And then south is on the uh, first floor laundry room. Okay, great. And then um, in east and in south, we do have uh, a few classrooms uh, that will have some university perspectives courses uh, that'll happen there. Uh, just went through a pretty big renovation, uh, big technology upgrades. So that'll be real handy for everybody as well. Yeah, lots of classrooms. Yes. And I think we'll go to floor three. There's been a lot of requests for Maple Hill East third floor rooms. So why not? Why not pivot into that? There's a little breezeway here. Mm -hmm. nice. And then every... Uh, every uh, floor in Maple Hill will have uh, one of these uh, these lounges in it. Um, the first floor of every building will also house our um, our range, Vina Hood, and all that here. So that way, if students really want to cook, do something here, uh, that is an option. 
One thing that we are asking differently this year is we're actually not going to be having any sort of uh, equipment checkout. So if you uh, are, in, if you really do enjoy cooking, that's fantastic. You know, that's a fantastic smell in the building. Everyone really loves it. Uh, but be sure you bring your own utensils and cookware this year. Okay. And uh, Monica asked, will you be going to South or are they about the same? We went into South um, in the common space, but didn't go up into the residential space. Right. Very, very similar. Um, there are several different types of rooms, but in general, the layouts are very, uh, or the amenities are very similar yes. and layouts are fairly similar. Um, Amy asked, can, we, can you let us know what type of suite you go into, please? And I know there's so many different types of suites. We may have to come back later and answer yeah. that question. So we can go into, on the third floor, we can go into a standard suite. Okay. And then on the fourth floor, we can go into a premium suite. Okay. And look at the loft rooms. Great. Well, let's go up on the floor. And I, I think about 1,000 students occupy yes. uh, the Maple Hill neighborhood? That's, that's correct. Um, it's somewhere between 1,000 and 1,100, mm -hmm. uh, between all three. Um, but uh, around 1,000 is about right. That's kind of a big community. In some places, that would be a college residential community all by itself. Yeah, so. Absolutely. That's some, some places that I've worked, that's the entire college, entire university. All right. So once again, you do have the main lounges on the floors uh, that every floor will have. Which is going to be similar on here to the one we just looked at. Yes, absolutely. Uh, if you look down, uh, down this hallway, we'll go into one of these rooms here as well. Uh, but there are going to be in East, there are three study lounges per floor, except the first floor. There'll be only one there, I believe. Uh, but any of these are open to any student in the building. Um, speaking of rooms, we had a request for a 303 and a 306. Cool. So 303 is right okay. up here. Maybe not. Maybe I haven't thought yet. So. I went the wrong way. What, what was, was the other room? 303, 303, 303 and 336 and 303. Uh, 336 is down oh, yeah, this way. We'll go down this okay. way, 336. Um, asking about, Kate asked about a three-person room, and you said there's just a few and they're mostly in South, is yes. that right? Yes, uh, to my knowledge, there's only one room that is three, and it's gonna be in South. There might be one or two scattered here in East and West. Uh, for the most part, they should be in South. Okay. Yes. Um, and then Angie asked, will there be dollies to use on move-in day? I believe there will be a handful. There usually are a handful. So but we'll, your best bet is always to bring your own. Yes. So we'll have a few dollies. And we'll also have some large bins uh, that students will be able, and students' families will be able to put all their stuff in, roll it into the building, uh, and unload, and then head back and, and continue to load up. Bring right. And that does bring up the case that we're doing move in slightly different mm -hmm. in that there'll be more move in slots to keep social distance, as well as the fact that we're asking that you only bring uh, two people along with you during the time when you're moving in. Yes, correct. And of course, masks are masks are in fashion at the University of Arkansas campus. Yes. So here we are in 336. Uh, this is going to be one of our standard suite rooms. Uh, they're all going to be very similar. Uh, so you'll have uh, vanity uh, that all four residents will share, as well as uh, the bathroom where your toilet and shower is located. Uh, the shower curtains uh, are replaced yearly, so that way you're not you know, receiving somebody from last year's curtain. It is going to be a fresh one. And then entering into one of the rooms, uh, this is going to be one of our, our you know, quad rooms where two students live in one room. Uh, so you'll have uh, two twin XL beds. Uh, these are loftable. Um, so you don't have to have any extra parts except maybe a stabilizer bar uh, that we can provide if needed. Um, you have two desks uh, as well as a cork board uh, here underneath the bookshelf uh, so that way you can pin up whatever you'd like to, to have up uh, in your room. Really make it your own space. Uh, make it your home away from home. Right. And then each student will also receive, uh, have an armoire uh, to be able to uh, hang clothes up in, as well as one chest of drawers built in and one on the bottom. And then uh, these, the drawer on the bottom is lockable, as well as this one here at the desk. Uh, you can lock it up as well if you need, if needed. But the cool thing about these 
they're on wheels with the tabletop already on it. So you can take it around wherever you'd like to put it in your room. That is pretty snazzy. Okay, okay. So this is a very typical room. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Once you've been in like this one, you're good to, all the rest of them except for the premium suites are going to look very similar to this. Okay. Okay. Um, we've had a couple questions about uh, the room itself, so let's go ahead and start getting into some of that. Awesome. Um, one of the questions we got, let me scroll back here, was from Peyton, and she asked, can you measure from the top of the window to the floor in one of the rooms? So, Is that a measurement we can get? Ninety-six point five inches is what we're, what we're measuring right there. Does the website dimensions are they any different than that, or I don't know uh, if that dimension is given in there. I, I don't know that it, it is on there. Uh, typically, um, it's just going to be the the floor dimensions. Right, and then the furniture. Yes. Okay, a couple more questions here. Um, Polly asks, I'm looking to raise the beds to about forty-eight inches. Can you measure and see if there's an option? or what is close to 48 in terms of the rings. And um, they go every three inches. Uh, yeah, so there's one that, as you can see, is kind of 49.5 or so. Okay, so very close at 49.5. Or 46.5. Okay. What you chunk it in. Sure, sure, okay, thank you. Um, what is the ceiling height? And I'm not entirely sure. I guess we could. You think we can make that happen between the two of us? You think we can all get it together, maybe? Carlene, we already went to Maple Hill South just on the first floor. Ceiling's about 110 inches. About 110 inches to the top of the ceiling. So, that math is what, about 10 feet? Uh, nine feet, two inches. Nine feet, nine two feet. inches, thank you. Okay. Uh, is there a full length mirror, Carlene asks? There okay. is not. No, there is not a full, a, full, a full length mirror. So, that's something you'll want to bring with you okay. if you need one. Uh, and you can also attach them inside the, inside the armoire if you wanted to do that. Uh, when you bring things to attach, my recommendation is bringing the uh, command strips. Uh, from 3M, those are going to be the ones that damage the least, as long as you take them off properly. Um, uh, we want to help you avoid any sort of uh, you know, charges or damages to the building, so uh, any way that we can help, just let us know. Sure. Um, Sydney asks, can you take the chest out of the wardrobe? Absolutely. And I would think, yeah, no problem. Absolutely. Yeah, so you, it's kind of just there for convenience at the yes, moment. Yeah, it's just there. It's an extra piece, but it is fully removable. And you can put that under your bed, do whatever you'd like with it. Okay. Uh, now, with all furniture, they have to stay within the room. Those can't be removed. Um, they are movable, but we would prefer that they stay here just to make sure, you know, they stay as, as uh, good as they can. Um, and, uh, and yeah. Peyton, as I was told that the second floor of Maple South has twin size beds. Is that true? And I think everything's, all the beds are consistent now. I yes. Believe. So they're all going to be twin XL. Mm -hmm. uh, so just a little bit longer than your standard twin. Is that a 75 or an 80? Do you happen to I believe it's 80. Mm -hmm. had to, if I had remember, but Leslie's going to get measure this one for us. Okay. We're going to get a measurement. Okay. It looks like it's probably close to 78. Just about 80. 80. Yeah. yeah. Just, just 78, just, just about 80. 80. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then let's see. We have Mary asking, can you measure the wall? with the armoire and the desk. And this one here? Yes. So are we talking like the entire length of the wall? I think we're looking at length of wall and height of wall probably. Okay. Good. Okay. Height same. As so nine. Here I can hold that yeah. one over here. Straight. Looks like. So it's about 93 inches before you get to the door frame. 
93 inches to the door frame. Okay, you got it? Okay. And then uh, Ruby asks, can both the desks fit along the wall with the door? It can, sometimes they can. Um, it's going to be a real tight fit. Um, it just kind of depends on how you guys want to uh, want to do it. But yes, it is possible. Yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking each one of these desks is about 48 inches. So it's it's pretty tight. 48 inches, and then what was the full length? 93. 93. So, it's, so it's just a little bit short. Three inches shy. Yeah. Here it's three inches shy. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, Jennifer asks, is there room for a small bookshelf? Yes, absolutely. So um, what you can also do, like I said, you re rearrange the uh, room however you would like. But there is going to be some extra space to put bookshelves. You can lock the beds up and utilize that space underneath the beds as well. Uh, so uh, I've seen a lot of students that will lock their beds up put their desks underneath um, and then they'll have some extra space for bookshelves and seating and wherever they would like. Elizabeth asks if you loft the bed to the highest height how much space is left to the ceiling? Um, the highest height is what, right that last pin. Yes plus at the height of the actual bed itself so about seven inches. Okay. So, so from this last pin to the ceiling here so the last pin, there's 40 inches between the last pin and the ceiling, so it'd be about 33 inches between the mattress, top of the mattress and the ceiling. About 33 inches between the mattress and the top of the ceiling yes. on that one. Um, Carlene asks, is the height of the bed lofted at its highest 72 inches? It sounds like a nice round number to me. It is. Uh, not quite 72. Like that pin is what, one inch maybe down below? Yeah, the, the, the top pin is about 70 and at 70.5. Mm -hmm. Top pin is about 70.5, but the, the entire post, height of the front, the post is 72. But the bed won't go quite that high. Uh, Jennifer asks, what is the distance between the beds? And we can give them that okay. dimension. Thank you. That might be a two-person job. Yeah. Let's see. Almost stuck. Uh, 59 inches. 59 inches currently. Of course, this is all movable furniture, so it can move around. Uh, Polly asks, can you measure the inside of both closet doors to hang overhead shoe racks? The inside of both closet doors um, to hang over. Okay. So we're just talking the, the height of the And the depth there. probably, too. Yeah, yeah, so. Okay, so the inside of the door, the door's about 17.5 inches wide. 17.5 inches wide. Okay, as far as the depth of the closet itself. Well, I was thinking the thickness of the, okay. of the, of the door Thinks itself. Of about an inch, oh, the, maybe? Yeah, the thickness of the door. Yeah, uh, yeah, just slightly under an inch. Okay. And is the other um, door the same? Yeah, I believe the other door. Yes, yeah, they're, they're symmetrical doors. Okay. Yes. Okay, um, Faith asks, how do we hang stuff on the walls? Like, what should we use? What can't we use? Great question. Yeah, so uh, our recommendation is using the command strips from 3M. Uh, those are going to, uh, you know, with, with sheet rock walls, uh, those are going to cause the least amount of damage as long as they're taken off uh, properly and according to the manufacturer. Uh, I wouldn't recommend using, like, fish hooks or anything like that that'll actually you know, poke into the walls um, because that uh, we like to keep it pristine as much as possible. So the three M strips uh, we we highly recommend. Um, and let's see, there you go, uh, Faith. Kenneth asks, is the black bar on that bed removable? Yes. yes. So this bar is here um, if the bed is lofted up. Uh, so you can put that on there and keep the bed stable. Mm -hmm. uh, so that way you're not focusing your center of gravity so up high and that the bed can get a little wobbly. Um, the student that lived here prior most likely left that here. Um, and we left it there so that way when the students come in, uh, they can take that, put it on one of the bottom rungs if they feel like they need to lift up the bed. But yes, it is absolutely removable. And speaking of lofting, it's probably worth mentioning that if you do want your bed lofted prior to your arrival, 
you can always go to housing.uark.edu forward slash fix it and submit a work order to have your bed raised um, to the level you'd like. Yes. And uh, even if we don't get to it before you move in, we'll get to it very quickly Absolutely. after you've moved in. Absolutely. Um, Beth asks, how wide are the doors? Let's get that width. So the doors themselves are about 35.5 inches. 35.5 inches. Mm -hmm. And then the actual doorway itself, we can't move that any further than that. So um, the doors from the inside here. Those are going to be just shy of 32 inches as far as. Okay, just shy of 32, did you say? Okay. Um, right, right, okay, okay. And um, let me ask is there enough room to turn? The wardrobe against the wall where the door opens. Yes, yes there are. So um, this is just one of the many layouts that we will put a room into uh, when, when students leave at the end of the year. But yes, they, we've had them uh, where the wardrobes are up against the wall instead of up against the bed. Uh, we've also had the two wardrobes on this one wall. Um, but yes, it, it will fit that. Okay. Uh, uh, Jana asks about um, the distance from the top of the window to the floor. That is earlier in this presentation. We did call it out as a, as a number. I'm not sure if anybody happens to remember it offhand, but uh, if not, just please scroll back and you can get yes. that number. Um, Elizabeth asks, who do we email about lofting beds? And you do turn in a work order, and that is done through housing.uark.edu forward slash fix it, F-I-X-I-T. Yes. Okay. Great questions. Carlene asks, uh, the bed loft at its highest is what? And I think we talked about that. We got that number. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. that was on there as well. Okay. And let's see. Uh, Tracy asks, can you measure the common area, please? Let's go out to the common area and we'll take a look at that. So this is the wall. Sixty-six inches. Okay. And we'll do it here. Alright, and that is 103 inches. 103 inches. Great. Okay. We're getting that one too? Alright. Seventy point five. Okay, there you go, Tracy. And uh, Beth is asking, how wide are the doorways again? And I guess as long as we're here, just you, know, you wouldn't mind just hitting that again, mm -hmm. getting that yeah. measurement one more time. So again, the inside of the doorway, because you have to count for this door piece here, and we can't move that any further. It's right at thirty-two point five. Thirty-two point five, Beth. Um, Martha asks, please show the area outside the bathroom. Is there space for seating there? I mean, you could accommodate maybe a small chair. Yeah. Um, In the vanity? Yes. Yeah, I mean, if you can move the chair, then of course that allows you to open up the drawers. So I guess if you're putting on makeup, if that's what you're looking for, like maybe a makeup chair or something of that sort, um, you can move a slight measurement here. So it's about 28 inches. 28 inches, if you want to put a chair there. Yeah. Go to the bathroom for a moment, too. Do you mind pulling that um, uh, curtain back? Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. And let's see. Christine asks, when the bed is lofted to the highest, do you have, do you have the bed rail on? The, the, yes, so you'll move the, the beds up on the highest on the post, and then on this bed in particular, the stabilizer bar is on the bottom, um, so that'll help stabilize it 
Uh, but the frame, the, the metrics frame itself is all one solid piece. Uh, so you'll move all that up as one. Okay, thank you. Uh, Melissa, we'll hear you about 303 and we'll see what we can do. We're definitely gonna look at a laundry room. So we'll go do that here in a moment. Uh, Faye asks, is a headboard hung on the bed by command strips or zip ties? That's, that's gonna be personal preference at yeah. that point. So you can do either one. Um, just kind of up to what, how, how you want to see that one done. What is the most interesting legal room layout you've seen? Have you seen any interesting layouts? I have seen uh, some rooms that will, um, they will take one of the bed posts down and they'll put both beds on one set. So one bed will be lofted, one bed will be underneath. Um, so you kind of create the bunk bed effect. Uh, but then also freeing up a lot more room uh, for you as well. Now that's something that bunk we beds. will not take care okay. of, but you are more than free. You're more than free to do that. Okay. Well, bunk bed, interesting thing Absolutely. there. Uh, Gene asks, can you show us the common area in the suite? And we're happy to go over that again real quick. Wonderful. Okay. Uh, if you bring a TV, do you need any specific cable hookups? No. So uh, this year, typically we will have the cables in the room. Um, but what we're going to do differently is the cables will be available for checkout. Uh, so that way we have extras in case something breaks. If students don't need the cables, we have those in one location. Um, so we will provide the coax cable uh, to uh, the wall outlet into the Cox cable box. And then we will also uh, downstairs have an HDMI cable uh, and the remote as well. So if you need anything beyond those, bring those with you. Uh, otherwise, we do have those available. Okay. And we do have uh, one cable box in the common room and then one in each bedroom. Uh, Marjay asks, is the size of the common area in a triple the same as a double? Yes. Yes, so the common area will be the same um, and then the bedroom itself will be much larger. Amy asks, can you please measure the cork board on the desk? Sure. And yeah, there's a cork board. We'll measure it. So the cork board is uh, 46 and a half. 46 and a half in that dimension. Uh, in length. And 16 inches tall. 16 inches tall. What is the distance, uh, Angie asks, what is the distance between the toilet? Beside, I'm sorry, beside, <laughs> using a different preposition, uh, beside the toilet, not between. Oh, uh, yeah, I think that one. Okay. Uh, it's about 27 and a half. 27 and a half. And then... And if you wanted this... Yeah, that was actually our, just our next question. Yeah. Peyton was asking for that. Yep, yeah, that's 26 and a half. 26 and a half. Okay, great. Gina asked, could you measure the wall beside the shower and commode? Is there room for shelving there? And I think we just did that measurement, so... Great minds are thinking alike here. Okay. Mary asked, what is the space between the toilet and the wall? And uh, why don't we get that other one right over there? Yeah. Okay. Why not? All right. So we got about 11 inches. 11 inches right there. Uh, Jane asked, if students decide not to use the chair and her desk, can they be stored anywhere in the facility? And the answer is unfortunately no, it needs to remain in the room. Uh, you're welcome to bring another chair in, of course, and those chairs can be slightly compact. I mean, you can mm -hmm. move them into areas of the room, but they need to be in there at the end or you will be charged for it. Uh, Carlene asked, what is the size of the shower curtain width? Thirty-three and a half inches, and then uh, Ruby asked, "Can we see furniture layout in the other bedroom?" And we'll we'll uh, we'll look at least one other bedroom before we, we finish up. Uh, Colleen was saying, "From the towel rack, please." And that's our last question that's come in so far. Okay. From the towel rack, so yeah, let's let's get. Um, let me look and see if I can. Yeah. What is the size of the shower curtain width from the towel rack, please? So. Let's, uh, why don't we get, 
how to interpret that one. If you want to, you can welcome to, to post it one more time. We'll try to make sure we get exactly what it is that you want in that measurement. Um, let's, uh, what is the width of the tower axe? Yeah, so they're all pretty identical. Okay. Um, so they're about 24 inches. About 24 inches, okay. For all of them. Yep, okay. Um, I think, if I'm understanding correctly, Carlene would like us to measure uh, from the towel rack to the commode. Oh, okay. So as far as going out here? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And you need another person in there, or you got it? Uh, no, it didn't sit here. So, about 74 inches. Okay, 74 inches that way. And then... One more, one more bathroom question. Okay. The space between the towel rack and the wall next to the commode. Okay. So I think we're talking about the end of the shower uh, up to this point. Okay. Just that shower. So this here? Yep. Okay. Uh, it's about 45 inches. 45 inches right there. Hopefully we got that for you. Okay. Um, and that shelf over the commode, do you mind getting that measurement real quick? Twenty-five inches. How deep is it? It looks like about four or five inches, maybe. Uh, maybe six. It's not very deep. Five inches. Five inches. Okay. Great. All right. Well, let's go ahead and look at the um, the laundry as well. Absolutely. Okay. So in the Maple complexes, uh, there we will have two laundry rooms per floor, except for the first floor, uh, and east and south there'll be one there. Okay, okay. So plenty of, la plenty of laundry facilities yes. on each floor, which is kind of nice. Most buildings, you have to go down to the bottom floor or something like that to right. get access. So this is the laundry room. Um, so there are two, uh, two washers and two dryers uh, here as well. Um, what we, we prefer that works really well is to bring the laundry pods with you. Um, instead of the powder or the liquid, just because it's easier to use uh, in the machines. Um, and then we also uh, prefer that we not use the uh, softener beads uh, or the beads like uh, Tide or whoever it was that puts it out uh, to freshen up the, the machines, just because these are commercial machines um, and uh, our contractor prefers that we not use those as to, to maintain the longevity of the, of the machines. Did we talk about the laundry alert app? No. So uh, one cool option uh, through our, our vendor uh, is the laundry alert app. Uh, so what you do is you download that onto your smartphone and you go and put a load of laundry in and then you can continuously monitor that machine to see how much time is left uh, before your, your load is finished. Uh, so that way, once it's finished, you come down, you can grab it, uh, move it over to the dryer. Uh, and uh, always keep an eye on, on what's going on so that way it doesn't sit for too long, get mildewy, um, or uh, possibly be moved if someone else was in the machine. Uh, Jamie's asking, uh, she didn't quite hear, how many laundry um, units are there on each floor? Of so, yeah, so there's going to be uh, two laundry rooms on each floor, except for the first floor of east and south, there's only going to be one there. Uh, and each one contains two washers and two dryers. So. Uh, you're free to use any of them that th in the building. You can also use the Laundry Alert app to see what machines are free and which ones are being used. Uh, so if you really need something washed right away, uh, you can uh, load up, take it up to the third floor, fourth floor, whichever floor you need to use. Uh, do your laundry there and then monitor it as well. Okay, great. Um, did we look at the study room no, on, not this, uh, we on this floor? Okay. And then we'll go into one more, one more room, maybe 303. That was one that was asked for. Okay. So this is uh, one of the study rooms uh, in Maple East. Uh, most floor will at least, floors will at least have one uh, on the first floor, and then two, three, and four will have at least three. Uh, south will have four uh, on each floor, except for the first floor, there is one. Uh, sorry, two, there's, there's a conference room and then a study room on, in the first floor of South. Uh, but they will come with oops, um, a, at least a couch, love seat, and some chairs, tables, um, so that way you can spread out, do your do homework, whatever you're needing to do here. Okay, well, 
Um, maybe we look at one more room. Sure. 303 was a request. Is that is that going to be different than I think? Not, one of no, it'll be very similar. Okay. Um, what I would probably recommend is go look at one of the premium suites okay. upstairs, which is one of our loft rooms. Yeah. Uh, so that way, if anyone is already assigned to one of our premium suites, you can get an idea as well. Okay. Let's go up and look awesome. at one of those. All the whiteboards right there. There's yes. plenty of and those. Uh, we will sometimes have the our RA staff. Uh, we'll go through and write messages for residents. Um, any any sort of uh, current events, things that we, that we need to disseminate information to. We have used those before as well as important numbers. Uh, but it's also available for students to be able to uh, write out equations or whatever they're working on um, uh, for class. So we'll go up here to the fourth floor and then also. Uh, here in the middle of the, of the uh, right in the middle of the building, we have our trash chutes. Um, so those are available on every floor. Mm -hmm. uh, one thing to keep in mind is those are compactors. They are not uh, just your standard uh, trash chute that goes down into a dumpster. Um, so very critical that you hang on to your items uh, when you throw it down because once it's in the compactor, we are not able to go down and get it uh, because it compacts uh, about every 15 to 30 minutes. So, unfortunately, there are students that drop their phones down or keys, and we have to say sorry that they're, they're, they're lost to the contract at that point. Okay. And we were asked by Elizabeth, will there be limits on um, how many people can use the study rooms at one time? And the answer is yes, we yes. are using. We're coming up with those, uh, with those numbers now, mm -hmm. um, trying to follow the best guidance we can on what is a suggested uh, maximum population for the right. And so um, the key thing on that is these guidelines are changing constantly. Um, so we will maintain, or sorry, uh, update our our policies as well. Uh, so what what may happen on move-in may change, you know, two or three weeks down the road based on CDC recommendations. Uh, so we're, we're working to keep things as safe as possible for everybody. For sure. We're about to look at a, uh, is this a, a quad or a, tr or a triple? This is, uh, it's still going to be a quad room. Okay. Uh, so there's going to be four residents that live here. Um, is there a triple on this, on this floor? So our room we were going to use got locked, oh. got shut and locked. So <laughs> no we're trying to find, I don't know that there's one down there. No. Let's go look down here. We should be able to find it. It's funny, all the doors have been uh, open for most of the summer, and now <laughs> they're getting locked, waiting yeah. for the students to come. Let's see, that's not one. No. We'll find the right one. We sure will. Here we go. Okay. So, this is one of our premium suites. Uh, so, what differentiates this room uh, from others? is you have the same standard uh, two-person uh, bedroom with two, you know, two bedrooms within the suite, uh, community and bathroom, but there's an upstairs. Uh, so we have a lofted area uh, that is more for social gathering uh, for, for residents and, and any guests that uh, may come by. In this room, these, these rooms are furnished. So they will come with uh, some, at least a couch, coffee table and a chair, maybe an end table. Uh, but there's also cable hookups up here uh, as well. Perfect. Yeah, here we are in a loft. A lot of space up here. Yes, lots of space. Uh, uh, there were quite a few questions about uh, the three room layout. And so I'm wondering, is that something you think after the show, maybe we could get some photos of or some sure. information about? Maybe that's something we can make happen. Absolutely. Okay, because you did have a lot of questions about that. And Absolutely. There's not one just right here. But, uh, yeah, so this is the Maples. This is Maple Hill. Yeah, fantastic. So we are super excited to have everybody joining us in just a couple of weeks. Uh, so stay safe, and we'll see you then. Okay. You will wave us up. See you later.